Hello and welcome! My name is Parky and this is Parky's Shorts, a series which will allow me to play a variety of games on my channel suggested by you. Every one or two episodes I'll play a new game, and if it gets a brilliant response from you guys it may be played as a full series on my channel. Today we're playing Democracy 3. Now this game has seemed quite intriguing to me since I first saw it in Eurogamer last year. Um, I spoke to the devs there and it seemed like a pretty cool game. Um, I like the concept of it, although I have not really played much of it, and I, I, I don't know really what to expect. It all sounds and looks very American right now, but that's fine. It's not a bad thing. However, we're going to start a new game. I'm hoping there's going to be some form of tutorial, because I have fuck, fucking no idea what I am doing. Uh, but we're just going to get into it. Okay, now we've got lots of nations we can choose from, and of course, because I am... because I am English. British. We're going to go with the United Kingdom. United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, commonly known as the UK or Britain, is one of five permanent members of the UN Security Council and a founding member of NATO and the Commonwealth. The UK is also an active member of the EU. Although this is like the most epic music for such a boring summary of the country. Although it chose to remain, it, it retained its sovereign currency rather than join the euro. The UK is a consti constitutional monarchy, where the monarch's power is effectively ceremonial. Damn queen. Okay, whatever, this is all boring. So we've got a population of 63 million. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, let's just play. There's no point going through all of that. <laughs> right. Oh, this is going to get a bit um, tense, isn't it? So I actually have to choose. All right, we'll go with the Conservatives. <laughs> Okay, the opposition's party name. Actually, no, let's not, let's not do this seriously. Let's not do this seriously. Let's just go with... Okay. Right, what have we got here? Oh, God. The Je We're going to be the Jehovah party? Because <laughs> that is what everyone loves here, obviously. Uh, and our opposition is going to be the secular party. You know, we're going to keep it not offensive. I can see that this, if I do this as a full series, it's going to get incredibly offensive and everyone's going to hate it. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, term length is four years. That seems about right. No limit. Uh, well, oh god. Well, we don't have any natural disasters. Difficulty, innate socialism, political apathy, monarchy, compulsory voting. Let's go. Nah. Nah. Let's just, let's just do the standard game. I mean, this is just me trying it out after all, so there we go. Right. Welcome to Democracy 3. You've just started your first term as Prime Minister and your Chief of Staff. Um, I'm here to explain here, here. I'm here to explain how things work. <laughs> I'm going to blame him that he has a speech impediment, not me. Okay, the icons below show you a few key indicators of the state of our country. Hopefully you can change things for the better and get re-elected after your term is up. Press the button in the window below. Mark to begin office to start governing. Okay, so I assume... These are the current things that we have. Oh, whatever. What? Okay. Uh, the lives of 63 million citizens are now in your hands. As you imagine, there is a number of situations concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible. What's keeping an eye on long-term improvements of our citizens' quality of life? Plus, do not forget to you face re-election in four years. You'll need to monitor the la 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 la. Okay. Begin term in office. Quit your t uh, uh. Why is this not working? Game, have you bugged out already? <laughs> For God's sake. It does say this, doesn't it? Begin term in office. Press the button. Okay, it's like flicking between these pages in the background, but it's not actually letting me... <laughs> For God's sake! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Why was that even an option, to have those windows open in the background, which then stopped you from carrying on? That's really stupid. Probably my fault though. Okay, from here you can s this is not going very well. <laughs> from here you can survey the current state of our country. It may look complex, but all the different components work in very similar ways. The icons represent different objects in our economy or society, including policies, laws, voter groups, and values for the important concepts such as health and education levels of our citizens. Click next to but blah blah. These strips in the centre of the screen represent groups of voters. With coloured progress bars indicating how happy they are with your government, the light grey area behind the text shows a percentage for our electorate that is... Uh, God, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed here. White icons are policies. You need to start the game with some already implemented, but most can be cancelled and many more can be added. They can also be adjusted. 
Policies are primary methods you use to govern the country. Okay, blue icons represent statistical data relevant to your country. They concern abstract concepts such as GDP, uh, crime, and uh, you can affect statistical through one entry. La, la. All right. We get the idea. Icons with red or green... I probably should read this in more detail. I can tell this is going to go wrong. Icons with the red or green backgrounds are situations. These are ongoing events taking place in your country, which may be going well, green or badly red. You can encourage good situations or prevent or fix bad ones by your policy choices. Policies, data and situations are interconnected through effects. Hovering mouse over... All right, look, we... Oh my god. Look, if I'm going to do a full series on this, I'm glad I'm doing this as a tester episode. At least I'm going to learn a little bit. Okay, voters. Let's take a look at a specific group of voters and find out more about them. Click on the voter strip for middle income voters. This window shows detailed information on a specific group of voters. Each group of voters will have their own opinions and priorities, and every event or policy will affect the group in different ways. The chart shows the opinion of these voters over time, as well as how they feel about specific policies and events. This area shows different inputs to this voter group, and how they make this group fit. God, Jesus Christ, this is not really a let's play, it's just me reading about the game. Maybe, you know, we'll get into this a bit. <laughs> That'd be a nice game. Okay, you can click on an inv Ugh. Okay, that's fine. So here we are at the details screen for income tax. I don't even know why I'm reading this, because honestly I'm not going to remember it anyway. I'm useless with this kind of thing. You can do this for almost any effect between two items. Income tax, white icons... God, I, you know what? I'm getting bored just reading this, so God knows. That's fine. Probably notice the effects of different values. Values... Uh, you, can you tell I'm getting <laughs> impatient? <sighs> I should really read this. I think it'd be more amusing if I just go blind, though, to be honest. Oh, dear. Uh, we don't want any more information. Oh my god, what is this? This shows how blah blah. I can read about this later, it's fine. I'm not an idiot, I can read graphs. Let's look at the Talas type icon. Yes, please do. Click on the, any of the blue icons. The screen shows information on the national statistic, like a situation it has cause and effects. Be aware that some statistical values are good things that we want high, like health and other bad things, blah blah blah. Okay, there's nothing we can change here, so let's close this. Pay attention to this value up here. This is the political capital, which represents the amount of support your government has to get things done. You have a limited amount of political capital per turn. Each turn is a quarter of a year. When you run out, you'll need to end the turn to get even more. Okay, right. So there's a there's a four year uh, time period until we get voted in or out again. I assume we just need to do as much in that four year period as we can just to get in again, just like normal politics. Right, how to create a new policy. <laughs> These are new policies put forward by your ministers. Policies dividing into categories, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, I, you know, I can I can read this, it's fine. Okay, so let's implement an import one. Why not? Okay. This is a new policy you can choose to implement, so you can adjust the slider on new policies for free without using up political capital. Be aware that some policies take time to implement, which means that what they're... Oh my god. Blimey. Yes. Yes, apply. No, he's not letting me. Okay, whatever. There's much more to see, but we should come to that later. Once you've finished what you can do or what you want to do in a quarter, it's time to end the turn. Hit the end turn bottom at the top right. There we go. Right, so I think we're getting into the game now, which is good. Probably everyone's just tuned out by this point. I'm just, I'm so sorry. I never said the quality of Parky's shorts would be any good. <laughs> I just use this to see what you like. <laughs> oh dear. It'll be fine. Now we're actually playing the game. We can implement some hilarious things. As the head of the Jeho Jeho Jehovah Party. A party which I'm ahead of, which I cannot even say the name properly. I stand for equal rights and um, <laughs> something else that's probably good. Vote for Parky, best best president EU, whatever. Okay, this is a quarterly report. It will highlight some key indicators which impact on the current state of the country. But there may be other information you need to be aware of. Urgent dilemmas may appear. Ah, ba, 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 ba. Okay. 
Oh, right, thank God for that. Here's a summary of the current state of your nation. It's your intelligence breathing room. It's fine. Right, here we are. Oh, I see, so you can actually choose exactly which ones you want. Okay. Cool. Cool. So if I hover, for example, if I want to make, like, the self -em if I want to help self-employed people, for example, this is me figuring it out now, you might want this sort of thing. Sales tax. So if I went like this, So that would... hang on. Right, let me get my head around this. Sales tax is class of regressive tax. This is lit... I did A-level economics as well and got, like, an A, so... I should be good at this, but... <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, so it's a regressive tax, which means it does not take into account the ability to pay. Critics argue that this affects the poor disproportionately and thus increases inequality. Supporters argue that this is relatively easy to collect and affects everyone and thus is fair. Okay. So basically, this should, if I did this, so lowering this tax, sales tax, makes everyone happier. So let's just lower it to that for now. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> this is, I can tell, <laughs> this is going to go so badly. Okay, so what are these other two things? We've got corporation tax. Okay, so if we do this, we'll have no we'll have no socialist policy. Sure, let's help the people who are like in businesses. Why not? And the poor, homeless. Ah, here's a problem. Let's deal with this. Don't know homeless in my town, in my UK. Okay, now how can I do this? Poverty. Oh, there's nothing I can do about it. It's just an issue. I see. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm feeling completely out of my depth there. Maybe this wouldn't be a good idea for a series, but this is why I'm figuring it out. Okay, so let's go for the wealthy. Hello, wealth. I'm sorry, but what wealthy dress like that? Jesus Christ. Look like a sort of weird fairy chav. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so we got wealthy. What is this? Inheritance tax, a big issue. Wealthy, let's make them wealthier. <laughs> For God's sake. Can I make everyone wealthier? Does that even work in, like, if I made the poor better and also everyone else? Like, would that would that be a viable thing? I don't think it works like that in real life, does it? Alcohol tax? Oh, wow. This is, I mean, I suppose this does have a lot of, like, truths in it, but... The idea that if you increased alcohol tax, it would make poor people poorer. Which sort of implies that poor people just sit at home drinking all day. <laughs> and it increases poverty. It's like, well, I'm sure alcohol... Isn't alcohol like a luxury good and therefore doesn't actually... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's make, let's make poor people happier. There we go. People are probably going to fucking hate me after this. Am I doing well or not? <laughs> Expenditure? Okay, look. The farmers fucking love us. So let's go with them. So we got this thing. What is it? Food standards? Alright, let's increase health. It's going to piss the farmers off slightly. See, this is what I don't understand. Like, what is... Uh, whatever. This is probably the worst video I've ever done. I'm sorry. <laughs> Crime. Yes. No, these are just things we look at, isn't it? So what's this one? Cigarette tax? Tobacco tax? There we go. Well, I fucking hate tobacco, so I'm going to put that tax right up. So the poverty is going to go up. Yeah, I don't care. Political... Oh, we don't have an... Oh, right. Okay, so how much do we have? Five. I see, and how can we see how much this costs? I do it that much? 
No, whatever. Uh, look, this is not going well, but whatever. If you want to see more of this, I mean, I'm sort of getting a bit flustered now because there's so much to do and my brain can't handle it. But if you'd like to see more of me sitting here mumbling and not doing this properly, then feel free to leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section below. This series is all about me trying things out, so if you don't want to see it, tell me in the comments you don't want to see it. Leave ratings as well, because those particularly help me know whether you're enjoying it. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Confused, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward. <laughs>